Good morning, everyone. It's uh, 9 o'clock. I will call this uh, budget meeting to order, and I would ask the clerk to uh, read the roll call, please. Councillor Arnold. Present. Councillor Bushy. Present. Councillor Bradley. Present. Councillor Broad. Present. Councillor Bruzewitz. Councillor Case. Present. Councillor Cook. Present. Councillor Gilliland. Present. Councillor Gillis. Present. Councillor Hand. Present. Councillor McDougal. Here. Councillor Marriott. Councilor McCharles, Present. Councilor McGugan, Councilor Napper, Present. Councilor Veen, Present. and Warden Weaver. Present. We have a quorum. Thank you. I'd ask that we sign, stand for a moment of silent reflection. I would ask if uh, anyone has a disclosure of conflict of interest to declare it uh, now or at the time if something comes up. Seeing none, item number five is the reading and adoption of the minutes of the open session from March 7th. Motion for those minutes, Councillor Bruzewicz and Councillor Arnold. Any questions uh, regarding those minutes? All in favor? That is carried. Thank you. Uh, we continue with our budget uh, discussions. Uh, item A, uh, Council voted to table motion 12 of the budget minutes until uh, today. Um, Councillor Gilliland. Seconder for that, Councillor McDougall. Questions? All in favor? That's carried. Thank you. So upon that, there was a request for a report to be prepared, prepared for the, uh, to meet the 1.8 net inflationary target using uh, expenses and 50% through reserves. Uh, discussion on that, uh, Councillor Bradley? I'd be willing to uh, move um, all the items in the uh recommendations except for the one the road work the Thompson line and everything else in there all the other actions that are recommended in there except for that one piece of road work and then I'd move a subsequent motion to accept the budget as recommended is there a seconder for that motion Councillor Arnold okay So the report, so as everyone understands what uh, I believe has been uh, moved, it's through the, the report that's been prepared for today's meeting, and there's a chart of recommendations there, of, and there's... Uh, so you're moving item A, B, D, E, F, and G, with the exception of the road work on County Road 6, Thompson Line. Councillor Case. Yes, Mr. Warden, just a question through you. Where does that take us as far as the, uh, where we would be in an increase of the budget as a percentage with leaving the road work in? Okay. Do we have a calculation on where that puts the... Mr. Ennis. Was working on that in preparation for the question. Um, we're, we're currently sitting at, uh, with the, this is the net figure. So the net increase that we have after your deliberations uh, on the 7th is a 3.03% increase. If we take out the $115,000 associated with Thompson Line, uh, the net reduction would be a $367,918. That is roughly a 0.51% uh, impact on the levy. 
So we would go from 3.03 .03 down to 2.52. Council McDougall. Warden Weaver, members of County Council, um, I'd be interested in hearing from Mr. Cole um, what the impact is um, in terms of holding off a year's activities in building up the base of that road and what you were trying to achieve in the beginning and holding off a year of that plan. What, what, what in the end does it do, if anything? Mr. Cole. Through you, Mr. Warden, um, Councillor McDougall, the County Road 6 base buildup, we've, we've been endeavoring to uh, uh, do grade corrections and, and uh, improvements that really are, can be done on, on the gravel road surface, uh, strengthening the roadway, uh, 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 removing vertical curves, uh, just improving that platform in anticipation for future paving. So I, I can tell you the reason that that project specifically was identified was because all the other projects in our, in our capital program are um, uh, our maintenance uh, management of our existing assets. That project is an improvement. It's, it's an anticipation of a future improvement. It's one we, we feel is vital to the, our county network, but, um, uh, and the work that we do is important for it. It is still improving that, that, that roadway, making it better, um, but that was, the, was why that one was uh, identified specifically. Follow-up, Follow up, if I could, um, Warden Weaver to uh, Mr. Innes. If we as, uh, um, as council felt that that was important to keep building the base, um, what, why wouldn't we just draw that amount of money this year as a one time um, out of opportunities and contingencies to keep that plan flowing forward? I would be willing to make that motion depending on your answer. Um, when staff were looking at uh, the reductions, um, if you uh, refer back to the uh, financial impacts portion of the report, it talks about the fact that uh, this was um, reductions that were in addition to uh, um, reducing the amount of contributions to reserves in the year. Uh, we felt that uh, given that there was already uh, going to be less money going into reserves, that it was not prudent or reasonable to withdraw additional funds out of uh, the reserves. That's one reason. The second aspect that we have is that uh, when it comes to opportunities and contingencies, uh, in order to draw those down, we do have to have a specific report about it. We probably could have dealt with that through this but uh, it seemed to be outside the scope of the parameters that we were given. We could do that. Council has the right and the, the authority to do whatever it wants, and if uh, Council so desired to reduce uh, or take monies out of that reserve to do this, it could be done. So there's nothing that says that you can't do that. It's just that when we were doing it, we felt that it was outside the parameters of what we were asked to report on. Follow-up, Council McDougall. Quick follow-up, Mr. Innes. Is there another reserve um, that we could draw um, project monies from in lieu of drawing on opportunities and contingencies that would allow that work to continue this year? Because I think when we start a program like this, it's good to keep it going. There's a... I yeah, we, 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 we could probably come up with monies out of, uh, of another reserve. Uh, might have to sit down and take a look at uh, all of the uh, commitments that we have done uh, to the, uh, or, you know, that we have current funding requirements that we have and uh, what's committed to the future. I must admit that I did not do that so that I can't give you an answer off the top of my, uh, my head. We do have reserves that are there that uh, we did discuss uh, doing some drawdowns from some of the capital reserves uh, during the budget process. So it could be possible to do that. Um, my only comment really is, is that uh, these types of uh, uh, repairs that uh, we're talking about um, actually 
uh, tend to fall more into an operating type of, uh, of a, an expenditure in this day and age. So we uh, tend to stay away from using reserves for operational. That's, in other words, we could do it if you wanted us to do it. I'm just not sure whether it makes appropriate uh, practice and whether it's something that we want to do and open the door to do into the future. That's what my only concern is. Mayor Case. Thank you, Mr. Warren. Mr. Warren, back through you to the mover, if I could ask, and I think I understood it correctly, that um, that road work would be the only piece that would be left in. All the other, um, the other suggestions would be also as part of the motion. So maybe if I could ask for you back to the mover. Absolutely correct. That work would continue. Thank you. Councillor Marriott. <clears throat> Thank you, Warden Weaver. And, uh, through to you, to Mr. Ennis. So to get the numbers right, you said that from 3.03, .03, we would go to 2.5 by leaving the 115,000 in? If we take the $115,000 out, um, a three, 300, uh, reduction of 367,918, which is what the other six recommendations total up to, um, is a 0.51% uh, reduction. So we would go from 3.03 to 2.52. Follow, follow up though, uh, the, the total reductions you made to here is 400 and some thousand to bring 3% down to 1.8. I can't get my head around why 115,000 brings it from 1.8 to 2.5. Mr. Ennis. So it's, uh, we came, uh, we identified, if we go back, uh, if I could, to the first uh, page of the report, um, just to uh, use the chart here to try and uh, clarify what's happening here. So we were starting off with a, a net increase in funding from the tax base uh, requirement of uh, $2.2 million as a result of last, uh, la uh, the March 7th discussions. To get, to get to a 1.8 reduction, we have to, or a net increase of 1.8, we have to eliminate $896,000 in funding. So we've set a target in this report of 448,044 for, which was half of that, to come from the, from programs and services. The total of the seven items that we had put forward uh, in the report was $482,918. So, uh, and that was worth a 0.66%. So the seven reductions in the report would have reduced it from 3.03 uh, down to, um, let me see, 2.37. So we simply would have been at 2.37 by you uh, coming up with the 50% of the necessary reduction to get it to 1.8. So, okay, I'm, not, I'm losing everybody here. So we only identify, uh, dealt with 50% of the reduction. To get to 1.8, you would have to take the seven reductions that we put in here, plus take monies, uh, reduce the contribution to the reserves. So if you eliminate the contributions to the reserves, the net impact of our reductions was $482,000. That $482,000 is a 0.066% uh, uh, equivalent to levy. So we would go from the 2.206 down to roughly uh, what, uh, a little bit uh, less than the uh, 1.7 that uh, we started with, uh, with the before you start talking about reductions to contributions to reserves. So the seven in the report would have brought us to 2.37. If we take those seven plus the addition, an additional $448,000 from the reserves, you actually drop down to 1.75. So that's how you get to the 1.75, the 1.8 range. So then going back to the seven in the report, if we eliminate the $115,000 for the Thompson Road, we're only reducing by 3.67. That uh, is a 0.51 reduction, which would bring us down to, uh, as I said, the uh, 2.52. If you then went in and did the $448,000 uh, from the um, 
reserve reduction and the contribution to the reserves, instead of ending up at 1.75, you would end up somewhere in the neighborhood of uh, 1.9. So that's, those are all the numbers. And again, I'm throwing a lot of numbers out there, but that's what we're talking about here. Follow-up, Councillor Marriott. Thank you, Warden Weaver, and, and to, I guess to Council, um, the 115,000 is such a drop in the bucket, and we're still contributing to reserves if we reduce the 400 and some thousand. So another 115 on that, we're still contributing to reserves, though. I, I mean, I would make that a motion to follow with Bev's, uh, Councillor McDougall's, if she was to make that, to get to keep it uh, where we're at by just adding the 115,000 to less reserves. Yeah, right now there's a motion on the floor to adopt this uh, funding reduction report with the exception of item C, which brings our the the, the levy or the increase to 2.52 percent. That's the motion that's on the floor. Uh, there has been no discussion, or there's been discussion about what, how that road work gets funded, or I guess if it stays in there in this motion, it's there and it's funded through the levy. Any more discussion on having those reductions, A, B, D, E, F, and G, uh, to get us down to a 2.52? Councillor Gilliland. Just to be clear, Mr. Warden, if this motion passes, that doesn't close the issue on further reductions. There's still discussion on more opportunities. I believe so. I don't, the motion did not include, uh, you said if this passes, you'd be prepared to bring another motion, but that's not part of this motion. We still have discussion on the rest of it, so that gets us to, uh, this gets us to 2.52. And as anyone requesting a uh, recorded vote on this. Uh, we did the last budget meeting. Everything was done by recorded vote. Councillor Case, just to keep it consistent, I thought you might, someone might want to go there. So if there is no further discussion on this, as long as everyone's clear, we're reducing uh, everything in the report except for the 115000 for the road work. Councillor Knapper, Clear? Okay. I would ask that we uh, get the randomizer functioning and uh, attempt a recorded vote, starting with Councillor Knapper. Councillor <laughs> 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 Veen. Councillor Arnold? Yes. Councillor Bushy? Yes. Councillor Bradley? Yes. Councillor Broad? Yes. Councillor Bruzewitz? Yes. Councillor Case? Yes. Councillor Cook? Yes. Councillor Gilliland? Yes. Councillor Gillis? Yes. Councillor McDougall? Yes. Councillor Marriott? Yes. Councillor McCharles? Yes. Warden Weaver? Yes. It carries. That is carried. Uh, as we move through, uh, how do we want to continue? I guess there was a... Councillor Bradley. At this present moment. At 2.52%. Seconded by Councillor McDougall. Discussion? Okay. <laughs> we will uh, instigate the uh, randomizer again. And <clears throat> Councillor Arnold. I just want uh, clarification that does that include the reduction to the reserves to drop it down 1.9%? Okay, good enough. Thank you. Councillor Knapper. <laughs> My question was, uh, 
Wani, that uh, whether or not that included taking the money out of the reserves to take it down to 1.9 percent, the answer was no. It stays at 2.5, 2.3, whatever that is. This is the. This motion is on the budget to set the budget at 2.52 percent uh, increase over last year, and I would ask 2.53. I guess is the uh, call the vote. Starting with Councillor Arnold. No. Councillor Bushy. Yes. Councillor. Right. Councillor Broad. No. Councillor Bruzewitz. No. Councillor Case. No. Councillor Cook. No. Councillor Gilliland. No. Councillor Gillis. No. Councillor McDougal. Yes. Councillor Marriott. Councillor McCharles. No. Councillor Knapper. No. And Councillor E. No. And Warden Weaver. Yes. Motion fails. Looking for a further motion, Councillor Arnold. Warden Weaver, I'll make a motion that uh, we review. The uh, Percentage of money going into the Opportunities and Contingencies Fund by 0.6%, and that'll get us down below 2%, and I think that was what uh, we had hoped for. And uh, that for a one year for this year, or is that going forward from this time on, it's, it'll be at 1.4% going to reserves instead of one6 Is there a seconder for that? Councillor Knapper. Councillor Bradley. Speak against that. I if, you know, accept the, the direction on the floor to reduce this year, but I do not believe that uh, you want to, for the new council, given the shifting sands of the economy and income versus expenditures, I don't think you want to lock this in. So I have to oppose the motion on that basis. Councillor Gillis. Uh, thank you, Warden. We were members of County Council. Uh, I agree with what uh, Councillor Bradley has said. I'm all in favor of reducing the operation and contingency of 0.6 for this year, but not going forward. I think we are making um, a statement here, but we're looking to the future, and I wouldn't want to tie another council's hands as well. So I'd like to see it just for one year. So with that, can no, I can't make an amendment in that regard. That would be a whole new, correct? That would be a whole new. It could be amended. We could vote on the amendment. Councillor Arnold. Being the room was a little bit against me here, <laughs> and that happens from time to time, Warden Weber. If uh, my mover or my seconder will agree to it, we'll just put it in for one year and let next year's council worry about it. Sounds like there's a little more uh, appetite for that. And uh, who seconded that? It just for the for this coming year, this budget year, it's reduced by it's a reduction of 0.6 percent. So it's at 1.4 percent, still going into reserves, is what I understand. Yeah, so the mover and a seconder has agreed to that. So it's for one year at 1.4% going into reserves. Councillor Case and then Councillor Reed. Okay, so uh, Mr. Warden, through you to staff, I guess I'm looking for what that means exactly when it comes to our number, our tax increase, if this passes. So just trying to keep things straight. Okay, um, a point six uh, works out to a four hundred and thirty six thousand eight hundred and sixty nine dollar reduction so that's the the dollar figure that we're talking about. You saw a graphic briefly there that showed and again sometimes the uh, the decimal places are off according to our to the program that Mr. Gruchin has it was a two point five three percent increase so if you take two point five three 
and uh, subtract a 0.6 from that. That brings you down. Oops, my uh, fingers would work properly. We'd be fine. 2.53 minus 0.6. It's a 1.92% net increase. Thank you. Councillor Bean? Nope. Okay. Councillor Marriott. Thank you, Warden Weaver. I just want to make the comment that I'm glad that the motion was was modified because I believe that next year's budget, there's lots of places to, to look if we want to keep the, for Mr. Ennis to try and, and aim towards inflationary values and increases. Like there's lots of places to, to uh, look at for next year without keeping the reserves at that lower number. So I think there's, there's lots of options out there and I like the, uh, I'm glad the uh, mover changed his motion. Okay. The motion's on the floor for the budget to uh, t reduce the amount of reserves to a 1.4% contribution for 2018 only. Any other questions or discussions? I would ask for the randomizer. Call the question. Hmm? Councillor Bradley. Councillor Bradley? No. Councillor Broad? No. Councillor Bruzley? Yes. Councillor Case? Yes. Councillor Cook? Councillor Gilliland? Yes. Councillor Gillis? Yes. Councillor McDougall? Yes. Councillor Marriott? Yes. Councillor McCharles? Yes. Councillor Napper? Yes. Councillor Veen? Yes. Councillor Arnold? Sure. Councillor Bushy? Yes. Warden Weaver? No. Motion carries. Okay. Uh, so we do have the budget passed. We do not uh, require to go through the binder tab by tab unless someone would like to I'd spend the morning. <laughs> so item C, uh, we don't need to do another motion on the budget. Okay. So I'd call for a, a separate motion to uh, adopt the budget as amended. Councillor Gillis, seconded. Councillor Arnold, want a recorded vote on that too or on all in favor? All in favor of that. That's carried. I think it's unanimous now. So. Notice of bylaws. It's moved by Councillor Gilliland and seconded by Councillor Cook that bylaws 8, 9, and 11 of 2018 as circulated be taken as read a first and second time. All in favor? Carried. It is moved by Councillor Cook, seconded by Councillor Gilliland that bylaws 8, 9, and 11 as circulated be taken as, as read a third, and third time and finally passed. All in favor? That's carried. Thank you. We have a motion to adjourn. Councillor Knapper and Councillor Veen. All in favor? We'll do O Canada.